We're pretty obsessed by weather in the UK. Probably because we have so much of it. I'm sure people sometimes wonder what motivates me to get out in the rain and take care of the allotment. Well, it's doing the videos. Because would I rather be sat indoors drinking coffee in the warm? Hell yeah, I would. But once I get going, I enjoy it. There's plenty to do in the polytunnel today. So, seven days of rain forecast. And I'm going to be watering the polytunnel. There's quite a lot of irony in that. I'd like to get on with planting some things out because the weather's getting a bit warmer. And it looks like in the forecast we haven't got a frost for, well, as far as they forecast. So I need to be out there really, but it ain't gonna happen today. So I think I'm gonna get some of the work done that I need to do around the strawberries and the tomatoes. We'll see how we get on. So the strawberries need to go up on the bars. I need to attach them to all these chains and get them into position. I've had them down this low for long enough now. It's been all about protecting them from the frost because I lost quite a lot of strawberries in some of the early frosts. So it's time for them to go up and then that will leave the spaces below and I can work out where I'm gonna put my tomatoes and start to get some things into position. So, up with the straws. Well, there's a phrase, to air is human. In other words, we all mess up sometimes. And I've had a major fail. Let me show you. One of my strawberry baskets I'd left on top of the potatoes. And well, it's not looking great, but I'm hopeful that they'll recover. Let's look on the positive side. The strawberries are up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pots. And most of them are flowering. Some of them have even got fruit on. So things are looking good for the straws. They're all fairly damp, so I'm not gonna be watering them much for a little while. And I don't anticipate much hot weather for a while. So I think they're gonna be just as they are for a fair old while. If you water them too much, you do get a bit of weakness and this one I think it was probably a bit too damp so we'll see it should recover it just needs to dry out a little bit this one's similar if you give these smaller baskets too much water it can be a problem the bigger baskets they seem to cope with it a lot better okay so that was all the dead leaves and various bits and bobs a bit of weed because of course I use some horse manure in these baskets. So getting that out early is good because it probably does away with it. And now I can start to think about how to arrange the tomatoes. Just need to move these potatoes out, including the disaster.
it's a bit like any other space that's full of stuff. It takes a bit of moving around to get it sorted out. It's a bit like a toy cupboard, really. There we go. I've got there in the end. So I've got some space now. I'll show you what I'm thinking. Okay, well, as I say, the space is clear. And if you remember, I picked out trays that I hadn't put any holes in so that any watering into the tomato pots would gather in the trays beneath. That'll help in the heat of the summer. And I've picked my largest pots. There's a few snails in these, but we'll get rid of them. And these pots are about the same size. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pots I want to end up with. Because I've got that cleared up OCD, I shall remove all this, give it a bit of a sweep, and then set the pots down into their final position. That's next. Now last year I tied my tomatoes to the crossbars as well as put some canes around them and I'm going to do the same again this year. But last year I used Gardner's jute and to be honest it just wasn't man enough for the job and it ended up breaking and sagging. So I'm going to get the right string in place, the right support from the get-go and rather than try and plant that string underneath the root ball I'm actually going to feed it through the pots and tie it underneath so there's absolutely no risk of it pulling out and this is plumber's cord and it's got like a plastic core to it so I think it's going to do the job really well so let's see if I can at least get the back ones done the front ones are a bit more difficult because the string or cord would have to lean back so we'll weigh that up afterwards okay so I need to get the right length so I'm going to feed it down through that bar to start with and just make sure I've got plenty of cord so I need about that much and I'm going to give myself another two feet just for good measure Cut it off. And let's see what we can do. So the plan is to put it through some of these lower holes. And I think in the interest of a sort of wigwam, I'm going to take it right the way through the side holes and out the other side. So that's going to look a bit like that which hopefully will be really useful so I'm going to tie it off in position well, that's nice and firm and when it's got some weight in it I think that's going to do the job just fine so more of those well I've hit my head on these hanging baskets about seven times so far this won't be the last I have to wear a hat okay so there we are all in with strings I went with these angled ones in the end this one comes from this top bar which is quite handy these lean back but I think the weight of the soil in the pots will hold all that in place and we'll see whether I need to add the green canes that I normally use or not so my next step is just to fill these with compost and I'm going to use the bags that I've got I think I'm going to be a bit short but we can sort that out in due course it'll be a good job done if we can get that far it's beginning to look very different in here. I'm pleased to say, after all the effort, we've got lots of pots and ropes ready for the tomatoes. All the strawberries are hanging in their baskets in their final position. And we've got plenty of seedlings waiting to go out. And the first steps will be to get the brassicas out of here 
and then I could start to recover some of this lower bed which will enable me to get in the lettuce which really are ready for planting now but the blessing I have is that there's no frost in the forecast so I don't have to cover this up every night that's a real pleasure well from the South Wales valleys in a very wet Saturday afternoon I hope you had a good weekend and I'll see you later I do hope you enjoyed the video today if you did click the subscribe button click the like button and if you want updates from me each time I upload a video click the bell and select all I do hope you have a great day Diochen Val